one pair of shoes you like better than the other shoes. That's our daughters. Remember, he made us in his image. So he got one particular people he chose out of everybody else on this planet Earth. That's right. Churches don't tell you that. You know why? Because they want to knock the women off. They want to have sex with the women. They want to get their money. That's why they lie to them. And they run around running their mouth all the time. They don't know nothing. But, but God, love wants to love people. Now what? That's the truth. Rather than, we're supposed to love one another. We're supposed to love everybody. Let me get, let me get Isaiah. Let me get Isaiah 55, verse 8 for him. Let me get Isaiah 55, and we're going to see how God thinks and how we think. Go ahead. Isaiah 55, no. verse 8. Go ahead. Well, my thought. Or not your thoughts. God said, our thoughts is not his thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways. He said, neither are your ways his ways. Said the Lord, for as the heavens are higher than the earth. He said, so as the heavens are higher than the earth. So are my ways higher than your ways. So are his ways higher than our ways. You know, this who teach you to love everybody. I know. I know. This, yo, listen, this who teach you to love everybody. This who they worship over there. You see them girls and this guy right here? Know, yeah. They worship this guy. Right. They worship this guy right here. That's how y'all worship. That thing make y'all exterminate dealing with this guy right here. God's the love of the world. What world he love? Come over here. Come over here and talk to him. What world? What world are you talking about? What world are we talking about? What world are we talking about? Talking about? That's why y'all women so quick. Y'all been so quick. Y'all. How are you going to see them? How are you going to see them? What God? What God are you talking about? 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 Y'all talk talk deal with religion. Y'all deal with religion. You think about winning? Y'all always misleading people. Matthew 7, verse 21. You don't want to see the world that he gave you. He got you The pacifier knocking you over the church with the tight pants on. Go ahead. Let everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord. Read that again. Let everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord. Everyone that says, Lord, Lord, Lord. Shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. This is what you believe in. No, read that again. Not everyone that said that to me, Lord, Lord. Not everyone that say, Lord, Lord, you're worshiping this, Lord. You ain't worshiping this. You ain't worshiping this. You worshiping this. Go ahead. Shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. You ain't into the kingdom of heaven. You wicked as hell. Go ahead. But he that doeth the will, he that doeth the will of my father, of my father, see I am like a whore with big boots on and mini skirt on to my Jesus. She got right, right, right. boots on right, and right, a mini skirt. Right, he got right. tight pants on That's like right. a woman and talking right. about Jesus. And you don't know who Jesus is. That's you right. never know him. Go ahead. Right, but right. he that doeth the will of my father. What is the will of the father? What is the will of God? What is the will of the Father? Go ahead. Go ahead. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, in heaven, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Have we not lied to the people in your name? Go ahead. And in thy name have cast them devils. You create them. You create them. Go ahead. And in thy name. Go ahead. You know what the Lord is saying? Go ahead. You know what the Lord is saying? Go ahead. You know what the Lord is saying? Go ahead. You know what the Lord is saying? Go ahead. You know what the Lord is saying? Go ahead. You know what the Lord is saying? Go ahead. You know what the Lord is saying? Go ahead. You know what the Lord is saying? Go ahead. You know what the Lord is saying? Go ahead. You know what the Lord is saying? Go ahead. You know what Jesus, Jesus, don't have a color. I, you don't got no color? Jesus, Give me, don't have a color. I'm going to show you right now, Revelation 101. Oh, we are here to edify each other. Oh, 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 oh
and with their lips, and with their lips do honor me, do honor him, but have removed their heart. That's what they did. Read that again. Okay. And with their lips, do honor me, with their lips, they honor God, God. but have removed their heart. They removed their heart, and people draw near him with his mouth. With their mouth, they draw near God, God. And with their lips, do honor me. So with their lips, they honor Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is Lord, Jesus. That's what they say, but God. But have removed their hearts. They, they removed their hearts, God. Far from me. They removed their hearts far from the true God. Far from the true Messiah. Far from the true Savior. Give me Isaiah 30. Verse 9. Isaiah 30, verse 9. Go ahead, read. That this is a rebellious people. Read that this is a rebellious people. These people are rebellious. Go ahead. Lion children. Say what? Lion children. Lion children. He said this is a rebellious people. Lion children. Go ahead. Children that will not have the word, the Lord, the Lord. They will not what? Hear the law of the Lord. They would not hear the law of the Lord. They would not hear the law of the Lord. They rebel they rebellious children. They rebellious children. Read that from nine again. Isaiah 30, verse 9. That this is a rebellious people. That this is a rebellious people. Go ahead. Lying children. Lying children. Go ahead. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. We want children with that one. We can feel what your pastor said. You only tell you what your pastor said. You don't never say what the Bible said. You say what your pastor said. Always calling Paul. Always following Paul. Run your mouth about Paul all day. Go ahead. Which say to the seers, see not. And you the seers, they tell you see not. Just give us money, pay your tithes, and that's a lie. Ain't no way in the Bible God said you pay money inside. Tithes was never money. Tithes was all you, wine, animals, uh, vegetarian. Tithes was never no money. So where they get this money thing from? Where they get this money thing from? That's all they pastors come in their gators and they nice suits on. Because they robbing you people. Go ahead. Which say to the seers, see not. They say to y'all seers, see not. They speak to y'all and say, don't see what this Bible says. Y'all stay in y'all sin. That's what the churches teach y'all. That's why y'all can party all week and go into church Sunday and give your money and you think you saved. You kidding me? You think God that ignorant? That you can sit there and go party all weekend, play the whole all week, and all of a sudden you come Sunday and give a couple of dollars to the pastor? And your sins are washed away. Go ahead. And to the prophets. They say to us, the prophets who are here bringing your sins out in front of you. Go ahead. Prophesy not unto us right things. They say, don't prophesy to us right things. Please don't prophesy to us right things. Don't bring the Lord and God out to us. Because we want to stay wicked. We want to stay in sin. Go ahead. Speak unto us smooth things. They say what? Speak unto us. Smooth thing. That's just wrong. The women is running these weak soft men. The women is running these weak soft men. Read that again. Isaiah 30, verse 10. Which say to the seers, see not. They say to the seers, see not. Don't see my sins. Right. Please don't see what I'm doing is with right. Go ahead. And to the prophet. <laughs> And to the prophets, prophecy not right. to us, us right thing. They tell us don't prophesy right thing. Let me stay in feminine. Let me stay getting knocked off by the preacher. That's what you weak men say. Go ahead. Speak up to us smooth thing. Please speak up to us smooth thing. Tell me what you did on your way to church today. Pastor, Pastor, please tell me what you did on your way to church today. Don't tell me the right thing. Don't tell me what sins I'm breaking. Tell me what happened to you on your way to church. Go ahead. Prophesied deceit. He said they prophesied deceit because we're supposed to be keeping the laws of God, bro. They don't teach you who you are in the Bible. They never tell you that you are a child of God. What's your nationality, sir? Sir, what's your nationality? Yeah, we from? I'm from the Caribbean. Huh? 
Caribbean. Caribbean, so you you from the tribe of Benjamin. But the churches don't tell you that, huh? I ain't know about that. Yeah, you from the tribe of Benjamin, brother. Benjamin, what, the Caribbeans, the uh, Western Indians, that's all uh, 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 slave names that were put on us when we came over there in 1619. Right. They dropped y'all over the Caribbean islands and dropped me over over here. My forefathers was over here in this land over here. That's all slave names, bro. In the Bible, I'm from the tribe of Judah. You from the tribe of Benjamin. We are the real Jews. Why? Why, because you never was taught that before, right? Because you were never taught that before, right? No, it, whoever taught you you was from the tribe of Benjamin? I know that. I thought, that's why I say whoever taught you, nobody taught you that, right? Give me Isaiah 30, 21. I'm going to show you this. Isaiah 30, verse 21. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee. 20. Verse 20? Yeah. Isaiah 30, verse 20. So you're going to learn right now, brother, what God said according to the Bible. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity. He give us the bread of adversity, go ahead. And the water of affliction. You know what that is? When we was in slavery. When we were in slavery, the Lord gave that to us because we broke his laws. Go ahead. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed. So he, he said, shall not your teachers be removed, go ahead. Into a corner anymore. So we ain't going to be hiding no more. God sent his prophets out here to teach his people who they are according to the Bible. You heard this before, that the word got to go around the four corners of the earth. And everybody going to hear this word before he come back. Everybody going to hear God's word before you come back. I'm telling you his word right now. So you can't say you ain't hearing it in that day. That's how, that's how God works. He ain't see nothing happen by coincidence. He sent you over here right now, but you can learn what you're learning now, who you are according to the Bible. You are a West Indian. I mean, you are um, from the tribe of Benjamin. You're not no West Indian. The word Indian means servant or slave or savage. You're not no savage, servant or slave. First Chronicles 17, verse 22. We're going to see who God is for. He said, for God. Because we got to break this down like it's supposed to be broken down. You can't just read it and just keep running. The most high way deeper than that. They think the most high is simple. He just puts something in you to read it and run with it. You got to get the understanding of everything you read. Go ahead. First Chronicles 17, verse 22. So we're going to see who God is for. He said, for God. Read. For thy people Israel. For thy people who? Israel. Go ahead. Did it start make thine own? Did what? Did it step? Did it make thine own? God said, for his people Israel, did he make his own? Go ahead. People forever. What? And for thy people Israel, did it start make thine own people forever? So God said he made us his people forever. Right. That's who God is for. That's right. Israel, read. That's and right. now, Lord became his their God. He became our God. We choose God. You go to church and think you choose God? You think God is simple? You think he's ignorant? God got to choose you. Right. You can't get, because you sit in church. Tell me you notice. Tell me he recognize you. You got to be kidding me. You got to be keeping God's laws for him to hear you. Go ahead. Now sit on there. Go ahead, read. Therefore now, Lord, let the thing that thou hast spoken concerning thy servant and concerning his his house be established forever. Good, because we're going to be established forever. Everything he said in his Bible is going to come to pass, going to come to pass. We're going to rule this earth once again. Right. And not of no Christianity, not of no denomination. You got to come and realize who you are, sister, according to the Bible. Because the churches don't teach you who you are. Oh, lucky you. Lucky you, sister, but you got to come to the Bible. Go ahead. Therefore, now, Lord, let the thing that thou hast spoken concerning that servant and concerning his house be established forever. Go ahead. And do as thou hast said. No, not yet. Let it even be established that thy name be magnified forever. That's what's going to happen in this earth. The name of the Most High is going to be magnified forever. Go ahead. Saying, the Lord of hosts is the God of Israel. The God of who? Israel. When that change? He the God of Israel, right? right? Even a God to Israel. Even a God to Israel. And let the house of David, thy servant, be established before thee. Let the house of David be established before thee. Go back to John 3, 16. Because that's what these people, that's what their problem is. They follow behind Paul in these churches. They don't believe in the most high. 
They believe in the real Messiah, the real Savior. They said, come on, man. Go ahead. John 3, verse 16. John 3, verse 16, once again. For God. So we already went to for God. God said he's for Israel. He the God of Israel. Go ahead. For God so loved the world. He said, so love. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Love is a past tense. So God so loved. They quote scriptures and they got a clue what it's saying. Because the pastor's popping up, they don't realize what's going on. Go ahead. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. Deuteronomy 7, verse 8. But because the Lord loved you. Because the Lord loved you, you Israelites. Go ahead. And because. You can't come to God talking about you a Baptist. Show me in the Bible where it says be a Baptist. Show me in the Bible where it says be a Methodist. Show me in the Bible where it says be the Pentecostal. Show me in the Bible where it says be a non denomination. Show me in the Bible that. Nobody can show that. Go ahead. But because the Lord loved you. Because the Lord loved you, Israelites. Go ahead. And because he will keep the oath. He's going to keep his promise he made from the beginning of time. We said, let there be light. We was going to God since he said, let there be light. Go ahead. Which he had sworn unto your fathers. Exactly, go ahead. That the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bond men. So he said, for oh God so loved. We went to them two places already. He said the world, just feminine men yelling the world, and we gonna show them what the world is. Go ahead. For God so loved the world that he uh -uh. the world. Go to the world. Okay. We gonna go show you what world God loves. Only one world. World means a society of people. Right. You foolish men that don't study. You don't study. The world means a society of people. That's what the world means. Right. World is a society of people. He can get these foolish people to run around and want cool scriptures, but nobody understand what the Bible says. That's right. Women don't know how to dress in the churches. Come in there half naked. That's right. There are mini skirts on in the church. That's wickedness. Right. He said you're supposed to dress modestly. You know what dressing modestly is? You know what dressing modestly is? Go ahead. Isaiah 45 verse 17. You got weak men following you. Men ran off because a woman called them. The men ran off because a woman called them. Go ahead. But Israel. But Israel but shall be saved. But who? But Israel shall be saved. But Israel shall be saved. In the Lord. In the Lord, God. With an everlasting salvation. With an everlasting salvation, God. You shall not be ashamed. What? You shall not be ashamed. Israel going to never be ashamed. We never going to be ashamed. When Christ come back, y'all will be ashamed that that day. Go ahead. No confounded. No what? No confounded. Nobody can confound us. We get anybody to come up here right now and challenge us. We bring anybody to step in front of us and try to challenge no us. No scripture. Nobody going to confound us. Sure. No scripture. Sure. Go ahead. World without end. He said we got a world without end. What world are you talking about? The world of Israel. Give me John 18 and 20. This John 3, 16 garbage. You got to get rid of that. Y'all use that same scripture all the time. That's the only scripture I come out with. John 18, verse 20. Because we sit here and we teach y'all time and time again. Christ. Christ died for his people. God is for his people. What is? Go ahead. John 18, verse 20. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. So we talking about Christ now. Y'all are yelling Christ. This John 18 verse 20. Read. I spake openly to the world. He said he spake openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue. He ever taught in the synagogue. And in the temple. In the temples, go ahead. Whether the Jews. What, what? Whether the Jews. Whether the Jews. Always resort. He always taught where the Jews was at. He always talk with the Jews who's that. You been good. And in secret, have I said nothing? He said in secret, has he said nothing? God didn't say nothing in secret. That's why they can't teach you who you are according to the Bible. That's why they can't show you who you are according to the Bible. We are here to show our people, the blacks, the Hispanics, and the Native American Indians, they must return as Israelites. God is not accepting you as no Baptist. That's right. He's not accepting you as a Methodist. That's right. He's not right. accepting you as a Protestant. He's not accepting you as a Jehovah Witness. That's He's right. He's not accepting you as Seventh Day Adventist. Right. You gotta come as Israel from one of these tribes.
Be strong in the Lord. In the power of his might. His might. His might. His might. His might. His might. Listen up, tonight's class is going to be uh, another proactive lesson, very proactive. Some of y'all might be nervous and afraid, but it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. There's a movement against Israel to try to shut the nation of Israel down and or, yeah, that's the movement. But guess what? They shall fail. Everyone that comes against the word of the Most High shall fail. Because the, the Most High said his word shall stand forever. Believe that. His word shall come to pass. He said all his counsel, it shall stand. We're going to open up with Daniel chapter 7. You have a lot of uh, non-believers out there, Negroes. See, the white man ain't going to come up against us until we crush all these Negro philosophies. That's right. And that's what's going to happen. The Most High is going to make this thing speed up. And these Negro philosophies, Latino philosophies, they're going to either get rolled over or fall in line. They only got those two choices. Joining Israel. Joining Israel. Hmm. <laughs> that sounds like a simple class. Okay. <laughs> 